Hello everyone, welcome back to TechTour.com. In this lecture, we will learn fifth normal form. Again, fifth normal form is a little more restrictive normal form over fourth normal form. So, fourth normal form we have understood already, which is multi-valued dependency dependent, and now we have to study fifth normal form. So, before we go and study fifth normal form, we have to understand joint dependency. Here is the formal definition of joint dependency denoted by JD R1 R2 up to Rn specified on relation schema R specifies a constraint on the states R of R. I mean states R of the relation R. Every legal state of legal state R of relation R should have a non-additive joint decomposition into R1, R2 and Rn. So let's understand it with an example. Here in this table we are storing supplier parts and project. So if we break this, let's say this is R, this is R, and if we break it into R1, R2, and R3, we have first one is supplier and parts, where S1 supplies P1, S1 also supplies P2, from here you can see, and S2 supplies only P1, so S2, P1. Now similarly, we will fill this table. Here we can see that S1 supplies, R, S1 supplies parts to R1, S1 also supplies parts to R2, S2 supplies to R1, S2 supplies to R2. So, we all four we have to write here. In R3, we are storing parts and projects. So, parts P1, P1 part is supplies to R1 and P1 is only supplied to R1. So, P1 will be supplied to R1. Now, P1 and P2, see P1 and P2 both are supplied to R2. So, we will write P1 R2, P2 R2. Okay, so this is the break off of relation R into R1, R2 and in R3. So once we join this R1, R2 and R3, we will get this table back. But if you see here carefully, this row S1, S, S1, P1 and R1, R1 is fine because it was here S1, P1 and R1 in the original table. But this S1, P1 and R2 is extra row which is not present here in the parent table. It means this, this join is additive join. Means we are getting some extra table in this after joining the table, the decompose table back. But if we don't get any of the rows extra or any of the record extra record after joining, then we will call it as non additive lossless join. Lossless because we are not losing any information also. So then we call it non-additive lossless join. So, if there is a case that the, this join is non-additive lossless join, then we say that this is join dependency. Now, let's understand the condition for fifth normal form. So, the first obvious condition is it should be in the relationship R should be in that is must be in must be in 4NF. Then the next condition is that if joint dependency exist or if joint dependency not exist. So if joint dependency does not exist, then it will be in 5NF. Else, if joint dependency exist, okay then again if join dependency exists then we will check whether this is trivial join dependency okay so if then it will be in fifth nf what is trivial join dependency let's say in we have understood what is join dependency right so let's say r is broken into r1 r2 r3 here now if one of this r1 r2 or r3 is R itself that is this this is R and R2 and R3 then obviously there will not be any data loss or there will not be any additive join condition so this will be join dependency case so this is called trivial join dependency now if it is trivial join dependency then there will be fifth normal form else If 
all the ri are super key ri what is ri ri is let's say we are breaking r into r1 r2 and so on rn so this is one of the this ri so if all ri is super key then this will be in fifth normal form okay else it will not be in fifth normal form okay so this is sort of algorithm to detect whether a given relation is in fifth normal form or not so i hope you understand it i'll share a example which i have found on youtube in which they have given two two three uh, relationships and they have shown that whether th this is in fifth normal for, form or not so i hope you understand if you don't understand it uh, you can ask a question in doubt section so thanks for watching